<laughs> it is August and we are here. We're gonna be doing some goose hunting with some students from the University of North Dakota. I'm currently just at the gas station here hanging out, waiting for them to come pick me up. They were out scouting, checking out the birds, so we're gonna go do that here in a little bit. If you guys are new here, this is our second season of the Collegiate Waterfowl Tour. Uh, last year, we actually started at NDSU, just about an hour to the south. So, but if you guys are new here, make sure you guys subscribe because we'll have, we got a few more stops along the way for this year. So it should be a lot of fun, goose hunting, duck hunting, a uh, good mixture between the two. And hopefully we get out a little bit further than just the Midwest. I'd like to spotlight some of the guys out further west and then even to the east and for sure down south. So uh, stay tuned, subscribe if you haven't already, and I hope you enjoy this episode. Yeah, how many? There's no beast there. They either moved or headed out already. I don't know, it's just like, essentially you have good hide, maybe 40 birds, maybe 50 if we're lucky, and then, or you take the 70 here with trying to get into the greenery there. Yeah, tough to say. I don't know. These ones are here yet, you should be able to make something work out of them. Yeah. So that's fine. All right, so, we got a property line right here that we're sitting on essentially we have the point coming out right there i think the dip would have been right along the back side there and the birds we didn't see originally that got up here would have been on the back side of the greenery there so i don't know i think it's, i'm pretty confident if we're gonna hunt at least like five or six different family groups that they split off and went a mile away it'd be a good hunt yeah and i don't want to sit in greenery but Tell we can make it find work. out yeah, and get after him. Only one way to find out, we'll see. Well, it is a brisk Saturday morning out here in North Dakota. Uh, we had some north wind last night, bombing around up uh, east of Devil's Lake here. Um, we ended up stumbling across this field on Thursday. There's only about 12, 20, 12 to 20 birds in it. Um, kind of put that in the back of the playbook. A couple of fields fell through earlier with them getting worked up unexpectedly and birds didn't come out. Um, so we've kind of used this as a fallback plan. Last night we ended up rolling through and uh, worked wheat field here and we watched 70 birds leave. Uh, lots of family groups, that was pretty encouraging. Uh, this morning, pretty brisk. Last night it was um, roughly 55 degrees, good northwest wind. We're expecting a good 10 mile per hour or so constant out of the west-northwest here. So hopefully the birds do her dirty and uh, we get on them. Sun's just starting to come up here. We're just getting ready and finished up with our decoys. We got your typical U-shape, but we tucked a couple more geese back up on the hill back here just to get a good visual because they weren't exactly in this spot but with the wind we kind of have to and then when we got out here it wasn't quite the hide that we exactly planned on so we ended up spreading out our blinds here we're going to try that we'll see what the first flock or two does uh, we may end up clumping them up in a line but just looking at the hide right now being that it's kind of farrowed already we'll uh see if separating them out in clumps like we see in the field works out We feed, they feed, right? What is that? Snossages. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Mm hmm. You see old venison or goose? Venison. Nice. Delicious. <laughs> You come around more often, we don't get this every day. <laughs> Come on. There we go. Yeah. Take a couple boxes. Oh, Thank so, you. Kent always supplies a case for the students, so okay. it's always nice of them. Mm -hmm. Take another one. 
so this will last you all week. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so. Thank you a lot. I don't have a gun. You shoot him. You shoot him. Update is some birds are coming. They're coming in nice small flocks. They're just not working the way we want them to. This uh, lack of wind is really making them look hard and come in from all different directions, not squaring us up. Hopefully they'll follow this line we got over here now and make them feel comfortable. just went down in that water. combo over there. <laughs> I shot straight on my bicep there. I was so so far turned yep. around. Alright, so this morning I ended up working with about essentially no wind. It was going to be kind of tough, but the birds ended up getting up periodically and uh, worked out 12 of them in total. So I ended up being a heck of a hunt, good time, and uh, making new friends is always a good time as well. What are we doing next? Oh, next. Next, we're going to get after some pigeons. Uh, call them gin bin. See if we can find some unposted old grain bins. Uh, we like to hang out there, kind of mess around during the day in the heat. And then this afternoon, we're going to get after the scouting again, see if we can find some. Uh, tomorrow is supposed to be 15 mile per hour wind. Maybe a little rain system moving through. It sounds kind of greasy. So hopefully, we can find something decent for tomorrow.